This video highlights some of the new capabilities in Azenda Report 6.5. The one, number one new feature is the new Fusion Cache. The Fusion Cache accelerates reports and dashboards, especially on slower databases. So our dashboard with MAP traditionally has taken about 17 seconds to run because it executes 12 different queries. When I click at it now with Fusion Cache enabled, it executes at about two seconds. If I go to the very bottom of the reporter dashboard, I can see this little update statement. This means that's when the data was pulled. The Fusion Cache is especially crucial for environments where you have slow databases. One option is to run a special EXC every morning so it caches all of the commonly used reports before anybody shows up for work. The next feature I'll highlight is multi-pivot. Here I have a report set up so I have a traditional pivot on order ID count but I also have an additional pivot on my sum of freight. I can add more pivots by essentially clicking on the insert field. I can also pick city and count distinct it. When I preview it, I now see for every month number three different pivot columns. Another new feature is gradient shading. So let me build a new report. I'll pick my orders data source. I'll pick my country and count the number of orders I have. I'll go to advanced properties and click gradient cell shading. And now you can see the darker numbers are automatically shaded darker than the smaller numbers. Another new feature is an autocomplete on the filters. If I select one of my fields, like country, I can select equals autocomplete and start typing. So if I wanted North America, I can do USA. Mexico. in Canada. The data sources dropdown also has a new capability. I can select two data sources and specify allow nulls. This will do a outer join. This is great for situations when you're doing data quality and want to see all of the records where there's maybe data missing in one of the join tables. We also have a new connection wizard. So when connecting to databases now, you actually have the opportunity to generate the connection string if you know the server name, database, login, and password. We also have enhancements to the chart. So I can create a new trend chart, pick my order date, organize by the name of the month, and sum my freight. And I can now scale this, so if I wanted this to be a smaller report, I can do it at 50%. So I've just added a smaller chart to my report. And that was a highlight of some of the top features.